So you're thinking of moving to Belmont in North Carolina and you're looking for someone to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly? Well, I'm here to give you the bottom line of what it's really like. Hi, I'm Joe McIntosh and welcome to another episode of Carolina Salute, where I give you everything Charlotte, both north and south of the border. Every day we help people move around our city and we'd be delighted to help you also. So we're gonna start off with some of those popular reasons people love living here in Belmont. Number one is gonna be location and affordability. So if you're unfamiliar with where Belmont is, it's located just west of Charlotte over the Catawba River right in Gaston County. From Belmont to downtown Charlotte is about 20, 25 minutes and it's going to have a smaller vibe to it than the hustle and bustle of the city. Belmont is only 15 minutes to the airport. So if you're wondering what the median home price is of homes here in Belmont, the median home is going to be about $365,000, which is about $10,000 less than the national average. Whether you're looking for a brand new home or a quaint house, or maybe just a more established neighborhood, Belmont will have a little something for everyone. The second reason people really love living here is gonna be the parks and recreation and the community. One of those places, and I'm not exactly a flower guy, is gonna be the Stowe Botanical Garden. Stowe Botanical Garden is 380 acres. It borders the northern end of Lake Wiley right there in North Carolina. It's really beautiful. You've got trails, you've got flowers. They do boo fest. They're gonna do fun stuff for each season. It's really beautiful. Like I said, I'm not really someone to go out and see the pansies and get wild about roses, but this place is really incredible. Another place you have to visit is Goat Island Park. It sits right on the river. So Goat Island Park, it really is an amazing place. You can take your family out for an afternoon outing. You can watch the ducks in the river. You can put in a kayak. You can hang out. If you're in the need to get, get your workout in, they've got a little place to do some pull-ups and some other calisthenics. The other thing that makes this place really cool is the sense of community here in Belmont. For example, at Halloween, I know this name's gonna sound familiar, we've heard it before, but downtown Belmont's gonna do their own boo fest. Everybody dresses up, the local stores participate. It's a really awesome time to bring the kids out and have a safe, fun environment. And so we can't mention Belmont without mentioning McCaddenville, Christmas Town, USA. It's literally something out of a Hollywood movie. They have carolers, they have parades. Every house on the main drag through the city has to be dead decorated. It's absolutely gorgeous. So let's get into the third reason that people really love living here, and it's the charm and the community of the downtown area. If you come into downtown, it's gonna look like a smaller, older city. You're gonna have buildings on both sides. You're gonna have Nellie's, owned by the Jonas Brothers parents, and not just because it's their parents, it really is a good place to eat. They do an awesome breakfast. The rest of the restaurants on the street are all incredible and super high quality. On a Friday night, you're looking for somewhere just to take the kids and enjoy your family, or you're looking for some place to take that special person that's in your life, you can do it all right here in downtown Belmont. So those are some of the pros, but now we're gonna list out some of the cons, because again, nowhere's perfect. Did you know Belmont has high property taxes? Belmont is in Gaston County. Gaston County has a 0.83% property tax. Then you add the Belmont city tax on top of it, which is 0.55%, and you have a grand total of 1.345%. If you've seen my other video on the suburbs in South Carolina, this is considerably higher, but the homes here are less. One of the other things that might be kind of a con is some of the parents have kind of been disappointed that not all the schools are rated in eight and 10. But guess what? Not many of the places around Charlotte, every school your child goes to is gonna be an eight or a 10. So you're gonna have to give something somewhere. What I suggest you do is research. One of the websites that I really like and use a ton is greatschools.org. You can go into this website and it'll really show you what goes into a school's ranking. I have a few close friends whose kids go to school in Belmont. They each have multiple kids and have seen multiple teachers in each grade and they've all been incredibly satisfied. The teachers are engaged, the schools are engaged with the students and making sure that they're progressing and getting better. Now the third con, a reoccurring theme it may seem, is traffic. 
But we can't mention the greatness of McCaddenville and Christmastown, USA without mentioning the traffic that comes with it. Hundreds of thousands of people from throughout the Charlotte area come in every day to see the lights. So guess what? When you're just trying to go home from work, the rest of the city is trying to come to your town to see the lights. It's just something to be prepared for. You've got to know it. There's nothing you can do about it. As I say, get some coffee, grab a podcast, and hang out. Another time we tend to see some traffic and maybe a few popular faces around. Every now and again, Hollywood comes to town and a popular place that they like to film is at the Lineberger Mansion. The Lineberg Lineburgers are a very old family in Belmont and if you decide to live here, it's gonna be a name you get to know. Overall, traffic's not gonna be too crazy. Of course, your morning rush hour as everybody gets off to school and into the office in the morning as everybody comes into Charlotte. And then again, in the evening as everybody leaves Charlotte and comes back to Belmont. Well, I hope this video gave you some insight into the pros and cons of living in Belmont, North Carolina. If you should have any other questions about Belmont or the rest of the surrounding area, I've done it myself. I've helped people monthly move into the area so I can give you all the tricks and tips to make it as smooth as possible. Well, I would love to talk to you. Give me a ring anytime. Thanks for watching another episode. Carolina Salute.